Hi guys, welcome to today's video. In today's video, we'll look into a scenario in which America has a civil war. Because why not? We've been waiting a while. And yeah, let's say Texas succeeds first. Wait, what? Why would Texas succeed, you may be saying. That's not going to happen. And well, I guess you may be saying... How come Calif and then California decides to stay loyal? And you know who's on the blue team? Well, of course, Washington, D.C. needs to be on it. And well, New Mexico decides their team is the best. Arizona, which most likely wouldn't go to California, decides to because they're right next to them. They decide and Washington decides. But for Alaska, whatever side they choose does not look good. Because somebody wants land that we never talk about being hungry for land. And well, Idaho wants to make greater Idaho, so they decide to join them. With them joining, duh, them, them, no brainers. Florida succeeds, which this is where it gets interesting. With Alabama and Mississippi leaving. Wait, what? And then some states are now starting to state their loyalty. Including Virginia and Maryland. Minnesota decides to say they're loyal. And for some reason, these two states decide to join Texas's team. A lot of the North does too. Which is odd. And then these two states are basically verbally fighting. With Illinois joining the red team. And then something odd happened. With a big uproar in some region of it. In Chicago, they decide to leave the state. And make the state of Chicago. Yeah, it's about time city-states become a part of America. And well, Michigan joins the blue team, which upsets Ohio in going to war with them for the second time. Wait, what? States go to war? Yeah, duh. No, not actually, but they can. They could. According to Ohio, they can. With West Virginia picking a side, and, and yeah, we get North Carolina, Tennessee, Kentucky, Yep, misery. And for some reason, I don't know what Iowa would do, but I'm going to say they do this. With Wisconsin joining the red team. And well, it's kind of a no-brainer for Indiana to join the red team. You would think South Carolina would join the red team, but for some reason they say, no, we want blue team. With Delaware, New York, and all of these guys. Choosing a side. And for some reason, New Jersey and Pennsylvania succeed. Okay. Well, right away, we can see the advantage is with the red team. But we didn't look at population. So, yeah. And, well, Alaska chooses a side. But nobody cares which side they chose. So, they just said the red team. Because the red team has the biggest border of Canada. And they think they will defend them against Canada. Oh, are they just wrong. As Canada basically claims Alaska's theirs now. And that Maine is theirs. Officially, Canada is just broken. Wait, what? What's the purple team being started by Canada? In a coalition of nations that they like. But they don't get in right away. I'm coloring them purple because they're about to get involved. Well, they are involved, but not yet. Their involvement is going to happen after the first fighting. I'm coloring them in the blue purple because they're going to get involved. And they form the purple team quickly. With them getting allies for an 
intervention into the American Civil War, with Australia not wanting to join this, but eventually saying, yeah, we'll join. And well, America is now ready for the first actual fighting, guys. Which happens when Texas launches a large offensive into into New Mexico. And well, yeah. Texas was the first one and they were ready to do this. Without looking bad as they're marching into New Mexico. And then... I, the hope, in Utah, started an offensive in the Nevada, with Utah teaming up with people in this region. Idaho teams up with people in this region because they're pro them for some reason. And if I'm advancing far north, with the Michigan War beginning. As they advance north. With advances into this region taking place. But the first blue team advance starts. With New York. Deciding to offend into Pennsylvania. And New Jersey. Just because they can. With the first Canadian, British, Australian, New Zealander forces. Launching a surprise invasion into Alaska. And they cut this area off and they quickly take Juno, the capital. Because they're chill like that. And yeah. As Alaska f starts falling, they now head to Anchorage, the Canadian forces. With them sending some people who like the cold into this region. Yeah. Exactly. And well, they advance here too. Because for some reason it makes sense for Canada to do this. But Idaho now gets some forces from Texas. And a lot of other nations. And they finally reach it to the coast. As they move up to take Salem. And yeah, they move into Washington towards Seattle. And Olympia. As Washington falls. But California is ready to do something interesting. This. They move into Utah. With a tricky South doing something. With Florida deciding to launch an offensive. And yeah. There's going to be something done to some of the major leaders of this. Coalition, such as Texas and Florida. And well, this happens. And well, this happens, duh. With a big threat towards Washington, D.C. being West Virginia, they launch an offensive in there and into Pennsylvania and New Jersey, which almost leads to the fall of the first East Coast states. As an offensive is started here and into Illinois. With an offensive into Iowa started. Because the red team wants the rest of the corn production. Let's see how Canada's intervention into the Civil War is going. Well, it's going pretty well as they're breaching the gates of Anchorage and moving up towards Fairbanks. Alaska has pretty much have a breakdown of social order. And then, in some regions, people who want to join Canada rises up, like in this region. Where they say is, enough is enough, we're Canada. And yeah. But yeah, as they do this, as Anchorage gets encircled and then taken, Anchorage now is a Canadian city, basically. 
Unless I'm going up and taking Fairbanks somehow. And yeah. With this looking good for Canada's advance into this region. Faster in front of the Civil War. But Nevada makes a counter-offensive. Guys, so they push them back here. With my thing, for some reason, showing an arrow. That's not supposed to happen. I don't like it, but we'll have to deal with it. With the first red team members in the north collapsing. And well, yeah. With Canada supporting the blue team. Mexico thinks, yeah, to, yeah, we're going to do something. So they intervene in the U.S. Civil War 2.0. Yeah, guys. Countries like Russia and them start supporting the red team. Uprising. And the purple team completely seizing Alaska. And Maine has its first decides to do something. With Canada going to support who? Germany quickly decides to throw their back behind America. France does too. Spain then does. Portugal as a third decides to support America. Well, some of their bigger allies support them. Especially in Eastern Europe countries wish to support them. I don't know why. But some countries just stay neutral. Hungary does. Italy does not. Neither does Croatia or Slovenia. Bosnia doesn't fare. Albania and Kosovo doesn't. These countries support America. America's real government, shall I say. The government we all know and cherish in this world. Some other countries start supporting America. Yep. In Morocco does. Now, Western Sahara, according to this map, exists. With Algeria making, picking a side. And Iran, China picks a side. Russia, Belarus, Serbia. And then South Oesia and Abkhazia join their side to support the Red. With North Korea also supporting. With Brazil and Colombia supporting the U.S. government. Not Venezuela, they would never. With a few countries here deciding to help them. With other countries here deciding to help someone else. With Israel deciding to support the official government and them, Iran gets their allies to do what they want. And don't ask me why Libya is in the wrong color. And then this is where supporting ends. With Mexico supporting neither side, and blaming them for their collapse and issues internally. Which is somehow popular in their people at the beginning of it. As, as they're warned about crossing the border into Texas, they do it anyways. With both parts of the government deciding to take harsh measures. With California thinking this isn't going to go bad as they enter into California and Arizona. 
And well, that's as far as I can get. And they try to advance further into Texas. But can't get that far. And while these states, Georgia and Alabama, collapse. Let's watch them collapse. As the government of Georgia and, and well, South, I mean South Carolina surrenders. But Michigan starts an offensive back against Ohio forces. And against Wisconsin forces, which actually goes weller. And they take more. And well, this happens. And Michigan begins to fall. Not Michigan. This is Wisconsin that's falling, guys. And well, yeah. And Virginia starts its offensive in the south, in North Carolina. Which, I don't think there's any chance of this war happening in today's world. It might, but I doubt it. With Canada, for some reason, claiming to be securing their border. Which a lot of analysts take as a war. With Canada eventually stating that they will join directly to support the blue team's favor. And to show they are, I'm going to put them as this color. Because I can. Involved helping them will be darker purple. But I'm calling on basically Kansas and nations to help. But a lot of nations don't want to support this war. Let's help. The countries that do support include Britain, France, Benlux, Poland, and France. They are all sending aid. The countries that are proposing this intervention were called by the blue team but not all nations agreed to it but all of Kansuk did and while there's not enough as the rest of the world is not really prepared for confrontation and they're just supporting out of convenience with Canada Intervening into Washington as one of their objectives. And yeah. And yeah, this happens. With the front lines breaking down. And yeah. The front lines broke down. And yeah, the front lines kind of break down. And yeah, the front lines have completely broke down in the fronts that Canada is intervening in. But soon found out that Canada might get something out of this. Via leaked report. And Canada's allies start... Allies to this... Direct confrontation started arriving with and amassing troops in Canada. But for some reason, France and Britain take a different approach. And they decide they'll take over Louisiana, the strong part, the most important area, as they take the mouth to the Mississippi, which makes it hard for them. With the collapse of Illinois now being seen as inevitable. As Illinois and Missouri start to collapse. As some forces cross. And yeah guys. I think it might be the end of these nations. But with Mexico ramping up its offensive into Southern California. Eventually, well... 
California pushes them back. And then they establish a buffer zone there, which establishes both sides' agreement. But this was just a lie so that they could take Mexico on after the Civil War. And while Michigan kicks out Ohio and Virginia gets ready to enter. And well, into Kentucky, Virginia goes. And this goes really well. Then again, Kentucky wouldn't really put so much. Or Tennessee, they're poorer states, I think. And well, Ohio quickly falls with Cleveland falling for some reason. And well, Everett is just falling. But have you guys noticed where a lot of advances have been going on? The Mississippi. As they went down the Mississippi. And they closed off the Mississippi. They were doing a lot of Civil War like stuff say. And well. The CSA is now not a thing. Well yeah there's no CSA in this video. Despite that reference, you might think, yeah, that's confirmed. But no, it's not. With Texas even agreeing with Mexico on a ceasefire, because Mexico is struggling. Yeah. And some states are smart and are like, yeah, we don't want to go down. Today, at least, we don't want to. And yeah. As some states start to see there's no winning of this war, they start to surrender, they have lands occupied, but a few states just decide to kick anyway out of their borders, tell them to leave. Basically they leave because they heard that they would surrender, they would just leave the war. And well, now the hard part, they figure. And yeah. These states that left like this are unimpacted by the Civil War. Treaty won't be. But since they left the war, they're now de facto on their team. And well, with France helping by launching an offensive here with American forces. And yeah, America's Civil War is over. With most of the red team supporters seeing this and they're all like, yeah, that was just out of a convenience so you can just stop backing them. It didn't help us. It's just because we were trying to destabilize the region basically is what they were doing. But since they can't no longer, Yemen and them all leave. And why am I using Yemen as their leader? Yes, I just did. Fine, Russia is a real leader of this, I guess. And yeah. And then, well, the collapse of the red team begins. With North Carolina being wiped out. And well, after years and years of fighting... They do this. And yeah. With most blue team supporters already gone. And well, yeah. The blue team won the American Civil War. Now they say to make the red team suffer. With a vote being held in Maine, because Maine wants to. To see about their future. And a lot of people voted to join Canada for some reason. Fine. There's no election. Yes, there was an election. And you guys are probably saying, what? With the directly involved countries that are in dark purple. Are ready now to kick the Mexicans out. As Mexico then calls us against the ceasefire. But California basically says, yeah, we're doing what's right. Fine, that's Washington, and America says it. 
And Mexico's kicked out of Texas. Offered peace. They refuse. Offered peace again. They finally give up trying to refuse. But it's too late as America doesn't want to give up. And well, a push into Baja California is made. And yeah, this is where everything turns. For the worst on Mexico as they decide to invade Mexico. And finally, Mexico relents. Let's call it, well, what's a good name for any state in the U.S.? Well, we could call it. Well, ever I want to name a state Jefferson, so why don't we make that Jefferson? That Texas, let's give this Lincoln, because who doesn't think that's a good name for this region? This region, let's call it South Texas. What? And now Baja California, with the rest of these states losing land, but not significant amounts. And then Pennsylvania's like, sure. Florida's like, why am I split in two? And so on. With Florida being reaccepted as a state. And Louisiana. After a few months. Then these guys reaccepted, 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 reaccepted as states. Reaccepted, 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 reaccepted. But nobody wants misery back. Just kidding. Let's put misery out if it's misery. And look, yuck tin. Because it's yuck tin. And while Canada is greedy and took as much land as it could get, those greedy, sneaky Canadians and the Americans said, okay, their relations are better than ever with Canada. Canada's a world power somehow. Don't explain. I don't want to explain how, but let's say they did become a world power in Canada. With Canada being a big part in the money and infrastructure rebuilding of Mexico and the U.S., and a lot of other places are rebuilding, which was just the U.S. And Hawaii doesn't know the war is over. I was joking, guys. And that's all for this section of the video. Now let's go to the most important part. The please subscribe. We're at 154 subscribers. We are trying to get to 100 by March 1st. But can we do it? I don't know. But get to 200, can we do it? I don't know. And please like and subscribe. That's pretty much all for today's video. Please like and subscribe. We are 46 subscribers away from 200. So please subscribe if you could. Leave a subscribe, leave a like, comment. And that's all for today's video, pretty much. So please like, subscribe, comment, share this video, Wild Mapper.